DHEC is to immediately restrict visitation to nursing homes and assisted living facilities with the exception of end-of-life situations. State price gouging laws are to go into effect immediately. And the State Emergency Management Plan is to be activated immediately. In addition, I've requested access to federal assistance provided by the Federal Small Business Administration for direct SBA loans for our state's small businesses that have been adversely affected. Also, I've asked, asked the General Assembly to pass a bill appropriating $45 million for DHEC as DHEC coordinates the state public health response to the coronavirus. This is in addition to the $8 million that Congress has appropriated for South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, the, <clears throat> the past 48 hours have seen remarkable activity across our nation. Professional and college sporting events have been canceled. March Madness, the Masters, the Carolina Cup, the Volvo car open, and we don't know what's next. Disney World is closed. Meetings and conferences have been canceled. Even church services have been canceled as we approach Easter. Many South Carolinians are anxious and worried. They're worried about their families, their parents, their grandparents, their children, their jobs, friends, and co-workers, and they're worried about their own health. That is entirely understandable under these circumstances. I want to assure every resident of this great state that your team, Team South Carolina, in all of its capacities, is engaged in working to get us through this crisis. And we will get through this. And we will get through it by using our heads, by being smart, by being deliberate, by staying calm, and by using common sense, and always by working together and demonstrating courtesy and compassion towards each other. Today, we have taken the best course of action for our state, for our people, and for our future. Let us remember that we as South Carolinians are resilient. I have faith in every South Carolinian. We are known around the world as friendly, hardworking, and honest people, a reputation well deserved. As our daily lives are impacted and disrupted by this coronavirus, let us